Welcome back to XPGNN, the network for the experienced gamer. Piracy. In a rushed press conference, Fleet Admiral Stiegelman revealed that a group of civilians with modified T-class cargo vessels have attacked a shipping lane in an unknown sector, killing a crew of 76. This audio recording from the black box was recovered from the wreckage. Field Marshal Shack has requested a special meeting of the Senate to clear a plan to bolster the fleet's military power by 50% over the coming year in response to the discovery of spacefaring life and the latest pirate threat. It's still the earliest days on Planet Sanctuary in the newly renamed Tristram system. The original colony ship is still being slowly disassembled and used as makeshift building material for the very first human city off Earth. Speaking of off-world, our sponsor this evening is brought to you by the Colony Sanctuary. Live a better life off-world. This wraps up tonight's netcast, but as always, we ask the only question that matters. Are you doing your part? Join the System Alliance now. Service guarantees citizenship. A new, a new life, life awaits you in the, the off-world off colony. The, the chance, chance to begin, begin again, again in a golden, golden land of opportunity and adventure. And adventure. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shaq here, and welcome back to Stellaris, the Grand Forex campaign. Hope you guys enjoyed that intro. Um, I've written the script so far, but I haven't actually finished editing yet, so I'm hoping it comes out as good as I'm picturing. Uh, so, what were we doing? Well, we sent out the fleet right before we ran into our major threat, which is the pirates. We haven't seen them yet, but we've had a report that there are pirates. Our fleet has made it up to the Ashmax system up in the north. Uh, and it's run into something hostile. Let me hit Q here and zoom in on him. What are you? Whoa. Some type of weird gas cloud. But it has a military strength of 163. Quite a bit stronger than our poor tiny little fleet. Now, off camera, I did assign a new leader. We have our first... We have our first Admiral Steigelman. He's been deployed. Actually, let's go ahead and assign him now while we're thinking about it. Now, out of the choices that I had, because when you're recruiting an admiral, you can go under here to the leadership tab, go to recruits, and you can see what's all available. Now, out of all of them, he was the best choice because he actually gives a really cool bonus. He gives evasion, 15%. This leader is a cautious admiral, avoiding unnecessary risks and taking care of always maintaining the ship's formation in which units can mutually support each other against the enemy. 15% uh, evasion is a really nice for a fleet admiral buff. Uh, all the other ones that I had a choice of were like, yeah, just life expectancy for the person, how long they'll live, plus 50 years, something like that. So there we go. There's the fleet. We're going to call the fleet home immediately. Earth Defense Force EDF. Come on back. And if you've never played, let's go ahead and unpause this. Actually, let's pause it real quick and check out a few more things. If you've never played EDF, though, I highly recommend it. Great PlayStation game. Uh, fantastic co couch co-op game. Uh, like the B-movie of co-op games. We've established our first colony in the Tristram system. Yes, this is a riff on Diablo because our colony was actually called Sanctuary. I didn't name that. That's the name they chose. Uh, we don't have a governor for this colony. Let's let's actually change that. Let's see what we've got. We've got one governor currently, and that would be um, Terrence Green. I need to change your name because I've got governor on there twice. Let's just do, there we go, because it actually says Governor Terrence Green. And let's go to recruit and see who we have that can govern Sanctuary. Um, we're just going to look at their bonuses, because I'm going to change their name for the next episode. Environmental Engineer. You'll clear blocks faster. It's not a bad idea, because this planet actually has a, uh, a large amount of blockers in the way. Uh, we also can get Science Output, Physics, and Society Output. That could be a bit better. I'm not really worried about the time it takes. Or the cost, because we don't have any of the technology to remove that stuff anyways. Hmm. Here's what I'm talking about. So let's see how bad it actually is. Oh, this planet is fine, because this is the Gaia world. Oh, no, it was um, it was Cirrus. I want to say it was Cirrus that had a really horrible, yeah, a really horrible, um, a lot of dense jungle in the way, hostile creatures are in the way, even some toxic kelp and a volcano in the way. Uh, were we researching the ability to remove volcanoes? No, we were not. We chose something else instead. So... Um, actually, yeah, let's just take research, and we might take turn Sanctuary into a research facility. That might be a thing in the future. All right, anyways, we were going to go ahead and grab a governor. Let's do that. Let's grab a research. Um, she, he, she's going to be an intellectual, 
So let's recruit you, and we'll rename you later on with one of our patron subscribers. So fantastic. Uh, we didn't actually assign you, though, so let's do that. There you go. You've been voted into office. Governor, who will, who will change? We won't even. So let's see. Where's our construction ship? Now, we can unpause. Uh, and just let the research go. We know there's a hostile fleet. There was an anomaly detected. We should already be researching it. Yes, we are. Construction complete. Um, and our construction has just finished for our construction ship. Let's start flushing out the fleet. That's what we need to do. Let's order up our first new Corvette class. Oh, we've got some research doing the first league. Our first, or our, yeah, our exploration has finished. So the first league. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Ken Hal Fa. Wow, okay. If what we have learned from these artifacts is correct, this civilization was some sort of confederation that consisted of many different alien races. They called themselves the First League and appear to have coexisted in relative peace some two million years ago. Though the Ken Hal system lies in a region of space that seems to have made up the core of their territory a partial map found among the artifacts indicate that the first link may have covered a significant portion of our galaxy before its eventual collapse now that is interesting indeed and that'll begin the Situation event chain updated. what that means for us i'm not a hundred percent sure i've never seen that event chain before let's go to the starport and let's build our first military vessels i'm actually going to order up two of these they are sniper class until our research ends for shield technology. It has ended. It's actually time to do some ship design. Now we are going to rename these uh, and re and redo them. So we have no new military technology, no new weapons, uh, no new technology for our just like side tech that we can slap on. But we do have deflectors. We don't have enough power to run two deflectors, so let's go ahead and throw on a little bit more power, and that's as, that's the best we're gonna have, and we need to rename you. We have one medium and one small. We could swap this out, actually. One medium and one small, or we could have three small weapons. I say stick with the medium and small. Have the one larger cannon on the back there. Uh, this right here will change out the, the, the frame of the spacecraft, which we don't wanna do. Look at that cannon on the back it's like the whole back into the hull it's fantastic let's also rename this design it's going to be a new design and we're going to call it the raptor class i like that somebody in the comments and i'm sorry i don't remember who it was said you should go with like birds of prey names and you said raptor and it made me think of like the klingon bird of prey so we're going to go ahead and rock that fantastic and let's go ahead and build some of these we can get rid of the sniper class design. Yes, delete it. We don't need it. And we'll leave the rest on here. So cool. Corvette, the Raptor is ready to go. We've saved it now. Let's check out, actually let's cancel those and let's build the new class of Raptors. We're gonna build two. We're gonna grab the fleet and we're gonna have it return home. Go ahead and return. This will make it jump instantly back to earth. We'll unpause, and when it gets back to Earth, I could just give it the order, actually. Um, go ahead and head on in and upgrade. It'll cost us 33 minerals to do so, which has dropped us down to 106, which is a little bit lower system than we need to be. Complete. Are you still system surveying? Yes, you are. And what have you found? Oh, man. You found a potentially habitable world. I like the latest update. This is really cool. Okay, we've got a hostile fleet fairly close by. What are you? You guys look kind of like pirates. We have pirates in the system. Um, and they out, oh wow, they're stronger than we are. Damn it. Damn it, they're going to, they're going to attack Bernard Star's research station. Not good. No, piss off. We might actually have been able to win that battle because the research station itself does have some station weapons on board. On they're not fantastic. It's just one of our mass drivers, but damn it. Now, we need to come in here with overwhelming force. They don't have shield technology. How quick will you will you upgrade, fleet? Earth Defense Force, have you arrived back yet? You haven't arrived back yet. You've got to get into the starport. Damn you! How dare you attack us? Not cool. And so the pirates engage us. All right, well, let's keep an eye on 
the fleet upgrade. Defense fleet. Come on, boys. Get to the dry docks. If they rearm and we get a couple of our combat vessels out and, and ready to go, we can get over there and kick the shit out of them. So, hey, one of our first of the new ships are done. Good. You'll be joining the fleet. We want both of those ships finished. Let's go ahead and pause this real quick, though. While this is going on, I want to make sure our science ship is getting work, getting work done. Yes, he is. Let's take the construction ship and lock down some minerals. I want more minerals so we can keep building more ships. We can go to our, our build cap as soon as possible. I'd be okay with that. We don't want to go over, though. If you go over your naval capacity, it actually starts costing you a considerable amount of money to keep that fleet maintained. We don't have the infrastructure for that. Let's go ahead and build a mining center there. And since I... Oh, I can't. I don't have enough research or uh, resources. I was going to say, get a research center above um, Procyon 2. And that way I'm pushing my, my doctrine, my mandate because I was elected on a, a research mandate, and that'll get us a bunch of um, influence. But anywho, let's get back to the war. At least the, the conflict. I don't really know if this is a war. Deal with these, these pirate scumbags. We need... Oh, you're not gonna do the upgrade until this Raptor class is done. Right. Right, right, right. Well, let's wait till the second one is finished up. Good, you're built. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Ships upgraded? You're done already? You're done already. Oh, that's beautiful. It must have been just a, a really easy upgrade. So, um, they installed the new modules. Let's go ahead and combine the fleets, which, here we go, merge fleet. Hopefully you do this right and you merge into the larger fleet. Um, why can't we merge you two? Let's grab just these two. There we go. Merge fleet. Order's been given. The fleet is merging, and now we have a slight advantage. I think the shield is going to be a bigger advantage than they realize, but we're not going to be waiting around. Let's dispatch the fleet. Let's start building. Do we have enough money? I would love to build another Corvette. We do not have enough cash. We will very shortly. All right. The defense fleet is being sent out. Their engines are charging. They're jumping out now. Go! Defend us, Admiral. Heading to Bernard Star. All right, they've arrived. And how is the station holding up? The station has been destroyed. Damn it. And they're running. Track them. Don't allow them to escape. Where are they jumping to? Does it say? Uh, it does say. They're going to Cirrus. So I can give that order right now. Just go to Cirrus. Defense force. Roll out. All right. It still says that there's FTO. Yeah, there was a, a pretty major patch, the first big patch uh, out for Stellaris uh, just the other day, actually, yesterday, I believe. And um, come on, guys. Come on, you gotta go, you gotta jump. Yes, there we go. Fleet engaged. And we've engaged them. Now, they're heading this way. I wonder if their base of operations is this direction. Why can't I, like, focus on you? We're using very similar technology. Are we winning the battle? Uh, we've already lost shields on one of our Corvettes. Oh crap, who is it? All right, that was just one of our, our new replacements. All three of our original captains are still there. Oh, but Hatter's taking damage. Oh, we might lose Hatter. We also might use, lose Jin, Captain Jin. But they're defending Earth as best they can. All right, we've lost shields on three of our ships. Uh, I, hmm. Come on, at least take one of them out and drop their DPS. The Jolly Roger. The Wide Load. <laughs> really, guys? All right, we've got him. No! Jin! Captain Jin! Uh, well, there, there goes Jin. There's our first patron death. Not the time! We're fighting for our very lives. Come on, guys, you can do this. Take him down. No, what are you doing? Shit. I'm pretty sure we won the battle. There it is. We've won the battle. All right, pause it real quick. We've got research finishing. Combat one. Um, oh, this is the... Is this... Is this new? This, like, battle combat one screen? It might not be. But, okay. So what do we got here? We, we've lost... Damn, we lost two of our ships out of the five. We've got some serious hull damage too, uh, and at least one of them. Uh, one of our, no, it's Captain Hatter's, okay. Of uh, the Covenant. The Covenant's got heavy damage. 
Um, the falchion is fine. Just some shield damage. We'll have to bring you guys back for repairs. Uh, we won the battle. We got to flush out the fleet a bit more. And we had some some losses. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and send you guys back. And let's get our, our research ship out here to do some of these special projects. So let's give you orders to repair the fleet. Head on home. You've done well this day. Congratulations. Um, let's check out the anomaly that we picked up. A vessel of some kind has crashed into the surface of this asteroid. Wreckage from the craft can still be found within the impact crater. Uh, really? Where is this? This is that OD1 in 906. In what system is that? Go ahead and do the research. Hijacks. Okay. And we've got some, some weird space whales passing through. Hi, guys. They've been passing through quite a bit. One of them's got damage. What did you do? Who shot you? They've, they've been completely not hostile. Hopefully we find something good there. Uh, how is our construction ship doing? Because we do have the resources now to send you out. Um, I actually want to grab up... Yeah, we're doing okay on power. I want to grab up a research station, so go ahead and do that. We're fine on power. We can come back and grab the power off of this small moon that's off of... Um, Procyon 4. So let's do that. Ah, the research is done. Crashed ore freighter. After identifying an anomaly in the gravity well of OD1N-906, the Prospero has discovered the shattered wreckage of an ancient ore super freighter buried deep within the asteroid's crust. It must have carried a full load when it crashed, and the asteroid mineral wealth have been revised accordingly. Oh, sweet. So, excellent. Let's check it out. What gave us... No, that's the construction ship. We want the science ship. How much are we talking about? Oh, wow. Not bad at all. There's, um... What do we got here? Three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven resources in this system. I may send out the construction ship to claim that right now. Just build there. Though... Oh, is it in my territory? I know that... And you guys said this a few times. I know that I can send out... Um, yeah, I am going to claim those. Go ahead and head out here. Oh, you don't have enough. And you've got a little time before you actually build up enough. I know that I can put out, um, of course, outposts out here to, to expand my territory. And I can also do uh, colonies outside of my territory and build those, but nothing else. Uh, timed project. Yeah, I know. I know. we got to get that debris, which you are free to do so right now. So let's do it. Where was that? Cirrus is where we fought that? Yep. Go ahead. Um, science ship. Just head on over here and do the research. Why can't I tell you to do the thing? There we go. Research project. Cool. Let's see what our mandates are now. There was a lot of talk in the civilian population about doing some alien investigations. And I believe there has been an update to this that it gives you some resources. Some science resources or something. If you do the research. Um, First League artifact recovered. What? We have recovered artifacts from the First League. So if we find, if we can find enough artifacts or relics from the civilization, it may be possible to pinpoint the location of their home system. Oh, that is awesome. I need to continue to do scans and research. That is really cool. All right, so repairs have been completed and the orders have been accomplished. Let's go ahead and expand the fleet. Spaceport. Would it be worth doing an edict here? I could lower the build cost and construction time by 25%. 150 influence, though. No, probably not a good idea. I may want to expand our territory using those resources. So let's go ahead and build a few more Raptor-class Corvettes that will inevitably be captained by, by you guys. Now, there was... Let's see. Where's our science ship? We're poor, so we can't have the construction ship do anything right now. Um, our science ship has arrived at Cirrus. Now, if this is where they were going, I'm, I'm assuming, and judging by the way they traveled, that they do, they're do they using the same technology we have because they are pirates using civilian vessels of ours, right? Um, I'm assuming that they have a base of operation of some kind in one of these directions. This is habitable. Oh, man, I love this. The, the new UI for planets is really cool. I can put my mouse over this, and now it tells me uh, if I've scanned it or not, based on, I'm assuming, the gray. It also tells me how big the planet is. The 18 on uh, on one of these planets and the 8 on the other is how many 
slots they have on the surface. Yeah, planet size. Very cool. So Earth is... Oh, it doesn't tell me because I've got it colonized. All right, have you finished your scans? I want to know what that had. Maybe it'll give us some, some clue. Get a couple shots for the next intro, because you never know what I'll need. I was thinking about that when I recorded the last episode. I was like, you know, I need to start turning off the UI a little bit and getting a little bit of footage, footage during the playthrough because you never know what I'm going to put in that news broadcast. And it is a very pretty game. Very pretty game. Very excited about the new Star Trek mod that's in the work by the Star Trek Armada team. Hello, aliens. What are we researching? Is it all that important? It's influence. Debris analyzed. Ah, okay, so the debris has been analyzed. We have analyzed the debris and cirrus. Uh, nano composite material up 10%. This is a research, a specific research. That would be the armor plating, I believe. Physics research, some just extra points. Same with engineering. Awesome. Complete. Very cool. Very cool. And construction is complete of, I believe, our two new ships for the fleet. That it is. And it has auto put themselves into the boom. There's our current fleet. I would really like this to get this over 200. We also need to expand the empire a little bit more. So let's go ahead and get... A little more minerals coming in. Let's grab the construction ship. And by a little, I mean a crap ton because there are seven here. Uh, we can build some of them. We might not be able to build all of them, but we can build some of them. Now, in the recent patch, and somebody had mentioned this, for every planet that you control, uh, it will increase, it'll decrease your research by 10%. So if you try to expand really fast, um, you're going to have to counter that by getting a lot of research points coming in. So it kind of stops you from... Uh, early game just throwing colonies ship colonies everywhere. It, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting balance choice that they've made Science vessel Let's dispatch you this sector has already been scanned. Let's survey this system uh, What stance are you currently in you're an evasive good? I don't want you getting blown up um, Yeah, Prospero is a is a damn fine vessel and she's got a good captain. I don't want to see him die So let's keep you on Kind of skittish. And let's chain up some, some research. Situation log updated. Ooh, what do we got here? So, encounter in... Eugism? I don't know how the hell to say that. In this E system, we have encountered some new alien vessels in the new system. These strange objects have been tagged Zeta aliens. We have Zeta aliens in here? Another new group? Another new group that's doing some scanning. Hi. How are you? Zeta aliens are actually scanning out here. That makes me nervous. Let's pause real quick. If they're scanning here, there's also another a possible fleet. Oh, no, okay. So those are some alien wildlife that kind of growl. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But they're scanning. That means that they're actually thinking about colonizing this sector. They're looking for resources. This is the first time I've actually wanted to investigate one of these. Find out what they're up to. We need to study these aliens through a special project. Let's do it. These were Zeta aliens. Let's go ahead and research it. It'll take 180 days. I think it's worth it. It will put off our research into, um, what is this? The planetary capital upgrade, which is something I really do want to get. But I think it can wait to get this one research done. I want to know more about them. At the same time, we're here. Oh, well, they've got something. No, no, they don't. We're here to do some scanning. Uh, there is no sign of any type of pirate activity, but there are a lot of planets. This is a big solar system. Could be a lot of resources here. They don't seem to be hostile. It's just a couple of science vessels. We're just hanging out, guys. Don't get, don't get crazy on us. All Raptor class. Yes, they are indeed. Um, did we get the research done? We're working on the research for tier two stations. Once these are done, I believe we can make. Uh, what is it? Destroyers should be the next one, right? Uh, you would think it'd be frigates, but I think it's destroyers. Because I don't think they all there are frigates in this. We will find out. And then I'll have to go under here and actually hit the build button. So, do we want to get a second science ship? Hmm. We should probably focus on military right now, actually. Yeah, we should get we should focus on military. It fits it fits better with the Republic. Oh, so that was a comment somebody asked. That they were pretty frustrated about. They're like, Shaq, why do you keep calling it the Alliance and the Republic? Well, uh, in my head, I had come up with kind of this pseudo backstory. I do this when I play games, especially like games like Fallout uh, and 4X games for sure. Uh, the background for this, as I said, the world has ended. 
in, in nuclear fire, and we've gotten through the fire, and so we've built this republic. Well, the republic uh, originally started out as the Allies, or what's left of the Allied nations, so whatever's left of the United States, whatever's left of the UK, of Australia, you know, so and so on. Uh, and then you've got the, the Soviet Union, you've got the, the, the Russian Federation, or whatever we want to call it. Anyways, uh, these two gigantic um, political entities eventually allied and reformed into a greater republic, and this is the republic, but it's been renamed as the System Alliance. So the republic is the type of government that we have, and then the System Alliance is actually the uh, the name that we have chosen when we were reformed as a global government. So there you go. It is Republic. It is also the System Alliance. I've explained it. I hope that helps alleviate some of the frustration. While we wait for something interesting to happen, we've begun scanning one of the beautiful stars in this poorly named star system. Oh, I can't wait till the Star Trek plot comes out. All right, what do we got here? The fleet strength is up to, uh, where is it at? 161 on military power, still not high. I'd love to get it over 200. I just don't feel like this, this right here is enough to defend the empire, or the Republic, excuse me. Now I'm gonna start saying that and really piss people off. So let's go ahead and invest. You know what, the construction ship has arrived on station. Let's go ahead and get him building those mining outposts before I spend any more money. We may actually... Are you still doing your thing? Construction complete. We should expand this. We should definitely expand this. We should get a farm going. I'm gonna build a farm right here. I wanna get a farm going so this grows faster. We get more population. Special so project let's... complete. Oh, the special project, communication. Fantastic. After successfully translating their language, we have established communication with the Je Jehetma Dominion. So we've established communication with the Dominion. Oh, boy. Diplomatic channels are now open, and all hostilities have been terminated. Were there hostilities? I didn't think there were. We got influence from that. So research for contacting other alien uh, life is definitely worth it for that extra influence. Whoa, what the shit? Wow, we've met our first alien species face to mushroom. Yeah, first contact. I am authorized to offer you cordial greetings with the Jehemta, Je, Jehetma Dominion. We have built a peaceful system of government that operates under the supervision of our council, led by the coordinator Heragma. <laughs> May our two nations know nothing but peace. Um... They didn't ask me who I am, so why is this my response? Who is Captain Shaq? This is Captain Shaq speaking. I kind of like that. It seems very Kirk. Because of the individualist and the materialist. We should probably greet you in battle. That's definitely our... our... I don't know if these actually make do anything, but I like it for RP standpoint. So, who is Captain Shaq? This is Captain Shaq speaking. The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time has been received with mixed feelings by our populace. This confirms that what we had long suspected. We are not alone in the galaxy. Each new alien species we encounter represents both an opportunity and a threat. We must be wary. These particular Xenos have a level of technology similar to our own, indicating that we have achieved spaceflight at roughly the same time. This changes everything. Indeed it does. We're really happy that we're bolstering the fleet. Uh, let's go ahead and grab up that... What was I going to grab? Oh, hydroponics farm. Which we don't have the technology to get to tier 2 yet, or tier 1. Let's go ahead and grab that, though. And let's change your position to here. So once you become a thing, we'll be getting that, that extra food income coming in. So good, good, grand. I like it. How's the building coming? Deep space mining facility. I think I had a couple of people that wanted to be, like, asteroid miners, so I'm going to have to name this after them. I will check that out uh, before the next episode. Uh, overall, things are looking pretty good. Oh, we've we've located them. Oh, shit. We we border each other. Yeah, we've, we're, sh we're going to be sharing a border if I expand out here. This isn't a border. This is how far my sensors go out. You can see we're in some type of green nebula. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to be sharing a border if I, if I colonize something like Cirrus. Indeed. Indeed. It makes me kind of want to shoot off 
this direction and really start exploring faster over here if I want to grab up some territory. I might... Hmm. Okay, here's the vote, guys. Do we continue for this week? Do we continue to build uh, military vessels and we get our fleet over, say, 200? Maybe we get maybe up to 10 ships or even build up to our max. Whoops, whoa. Wrong way. Take Q and zoom in here. Or... Or do we build our second science vessel and continue our exploration? Um, I, we're, we're very military, though. Do we, I think it would be a scouting vessel more than an, a science exploration vessel. It's a recon vessel. That, that meets our, our military standpoint on all things. So what do you guys think? Do we need a recon vessel for the fleet? Or should we continue to bolster our military strength? You decide in the, in the voting polls below. All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. We're hitting that 30-minute mark. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about the recon vessel or the military might. Uh, our research is moving along quite nicely. Complete. It may be time to actually do some, uh, some more special projects. I need to build two more research stations, too. But um, some more special projects and actually make contact with the rest of these aliens and find out where they're at. And also get this influence. Because if they do the research... They're going to get the influence bonus, and I don't know about that. I mean, we're not really researching anything all that interesting right now. Hmm. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up this episode. I will see you in the next one. I'm trying to do at least two a week. That's my plan. Later, guys. The Earth Defense Fleet. Ready to go at a moment's notice.